What's going on guys, Pink is here to you here and today we're going to show you how to download MIUI ROM to the Galaxy S2 and it is a official ROM. Now let's get started. Now first you need to download MIUI ROM from the official website. Now uh, which is weird that the company decided to make a custom ROM and it is a official custom ROM flash many variants of phone now first we're gonna go to let's go to MIUI ROM I mean MIUI alright let's go to MIUI for <coughs> uh, yeah let's click on downloads now I can see plenty of models, brands, your phone. Now just simply search your phone model and let's say mine is the Samsung Galaxy S2 which is the i9-100G yep there it is now just click download full ROM and you will be di direct to the website now just click on download full ROM and you will download straight away as you can see here, 259 MB as I already downloaded it, so you don't need to download. And you need to download one more kernel, which is the Blazing Kernel 16, which is this. I recommend you guys to download this and flash it, which is more stable and won't boot loop. Now, let's copy all this file to your phone memory card. As you can see, I already paste it. Yep, the 16 CMD, CMW, and the MUI. Where is the MUI? Oh, yeah, there it is. Yep, yeah, it's too far. And we're gonna go to the phone now. Now, on the phone, you're gonna go to power off the phone and straight to the recovery mode. We just press the volume up, power button, and the home button. Let's wait for it. Good. Uh, we can just go to apply update from external storage. As you can see, this is the stock recovery mode. Now, by applying the kernel, you can also change it to the clockwork mode, which is the new method that you can flash clockwork recovery without using computer. Now, let's click on apply update from external storage and choose the blazing kernel version 16 cmw mode you can see here just click flash now it's worth to find the package now just wait for it and this is the safest way to flash the kernel without using odin now let's go back now let's go back and just reboot system now and let's wait for a while and this might take some time for it to reboot because the kernel is currently finding all those and starting to equalize all those voltage megahertz and starting installing all those new feature on the galaxy s2 now we'll be right back after it right guys yes, you can see it's finally boot up now i'm gonna go and check the ram status which is boost into 6 mb yep 774 MB, the first is 769 MB, and now it's boost to 774 MB. Now we're gonna turn it off again. Okay, <clears throat> and we're gonna go install the meal ROM right now. Alright, guys, we're gonna go recovery mode again. Let's click on volume up, power, and home. Now you will see the clockwork mode you install. Yep, clockwork mode just install now. We're gonna do wipe data factory set first. Yes, wipe all user data. Swipe it. Just 
script for while to formatting data now the white copy gonna go white catch of course swipe catch now we gonna go to install zip from SD let's go install zip from SD and choose the ROM choose zip from SD wait for it to load now we can see now choose the zip let you save it Where did I put the zip? I have no idea. Maybe it's not here. We're gonna go to the zip from SD1, I think. Then I put it right there. Now we're gonna go through. There it is. The mirror. Let's click. Yes. Opening update package. Installing update formatting system. Well, it doesn't matter that where you put the ROM in, as long as you can find it on the recovery mode, you are safe. Now, make sure you back up your data before you install it. For me, I didn't back up any data because I trust me you. For it to work for the Samsung Galaxy S2. Let's just wait for it now. It might take some some time for it to uh, download it. I mean, installing it. Yeah, we'll be right back after installing it. It looks like the Mio ROM has successfully installed. Now we can do wipe data partition in case of anything go wrong. Now let's go wipe all the user data again. Oops. Now let's go to what catch partition and click yes. Alright, now we're gonna go reboot my other phone of course. Let's go reboot the phone. Now Are you ready guys? Because I'm excited. Maybe will it work for the Samsung Galaxy S2? Okay, rebooting right now. the moment of truth yes it works yes okay guys now as you can see it works on the GTI 9 I, I, I mean GTI 9100 yeah now let's just wait for our to reboot. Now we will be come back later. You can see after finish rebooting, you will see this uh, Chinese language. Now we can change to English. English, please. Okay, welcome to MWA. I click next. And as you to connect to the Wi Fi, we're gonna skip this step. And sign in. I might. Want to try it, but I will do it later. Now, let's go skip this step again. Okay, confirm, guys. Set alerts for data user. Oh, hell no. It's using my data right now. Oh, thank God. It actually gives you the permission to disable the data. 
different from the Samsung okay now let's click next location services yep, sending uh, I'm gonna close this because it's quite annoying just click next all right and congratulations well, enjoy Xiaomi is it my phone I think is it is all right you can see it's finally successfully installed the Xiaomi ROM just smooth enough for me and data usage when did since when did I I'm not gonna care about it now let's try let's go to camera and see what's difference about it say you remember attack your photos and okay and enable it yes as you can see this is the Google version of the camera. Let's guess. Now I'm gonna take one picture of it and see how good it is taken. Hmm, not bad. Okay. Yes, there's now for the camera. I'm gonna go to the team and agree. Don't find anything what oh I didn't connect the network of course alright guys thanks for watching and I'm gonna show you the review of the app next time next video and hope this video helped you guys and thanks for watching again subscribe for more and have a good day guys happy flashing